Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Well, I'm here today to talk about something that is really making me mad and kind of confused and I really want to hear a little bit guys what you think, your thoughts uh, and I need your help. So here is the problem or let me just start from the beginning so you understand uh, my problem right now. So I was subscribed to Glossy Box for I think four years uh, and uh, I really really like their service. I never had any problems with them. Sometimes I did have to pick my glossy box in a post office. Sometimes they left it outside my door. So that was kind of confusing. I really didn't expect, didn't know what to expect if it's going to be outside my door or if I am going to pick it up myself. Also, sometimes they did text me that my glossy box was on the way. Sometimes they didn't. That was maybe the only problem. I don't really see that as a problem, but you could call it a problem. I started my channel for around two, two and a half years ago, and right away I started doing these monthly glossy box unboxing videos. And you, if you're an old subscriber or if you watched a couple of my videos, maybe you already know that I do uh, glossy box unboxing videos, and I really, really enjoy them. And I think most of you do enjoy these those videos and I uh, also made contact with some beautiful people and friends that I really really appreciate through those glossy box unboxing videos but if you're not subscriber maybe you saw and maybe you're wondering why I didn't unbox any glossy box during December and January and uh, let me just tell you why during this December, I got a text that something was wrong with my, with my card and they, uh, that I had to fix the problem. So I went on my website or on my site, uh, site on the glossy box, and uh, I saw that they couldn't charge for that month, for December month, from, through my card. And there was money on the card, there was no problem with the card. I tried to connect the card again there was no problem so I ordered a couple of other products from another website with my card just to check it out if there was any problem with the card nothing was the problem I could check out on those websites so I went over again to the glossy box and tried to connect that card again didn't went so I really really wanted the December's glossy box I really waited for that box all year because those boxes are my favorite boxes and uh, my usual card that uh, they charged from every month didn't want for some reason to connect with the glossy box so i paid through the paypal and i saw on my paypal account that they took the money for that box and i was very happy but then i after maybe two three hours i got the text that the card didn't went through so i uh, need to um connect my card to the glossy box account so they could charge me every month i went over there again i tried with my usual card that they charged me for from every month didn't still connect with the glossy box for some reason so i went again with my paypal account and paid through my paypal account and they took the money again so during that day on in december december 20 20th december they charged me two times for a glossy box. I thought, yeah, maybe they will see me, maybe they will give me my money back. We were going on a vacation that week, so I didn't have time to contact them. So we went away for vacation and we came back uh, a day before New Year's Eve. And uh, what happened then? I realized that my glossy box didn't arrive. So I emailed them and I told them what the problem was that I tried to contact to connect my card again. There was not, no problem with the card. I could purchase with my card in the stores. I could pay with my card through the internet, uh, websites, different websites. There were no problem with the card. Something was wrong with their website and that they did charge me two times for my PayPal account. 
So they answered me that I had to put my card information again on their website so could, they can charge me every month. And they said that they can't take monthly payments through PayPal. I emailed them again and I told them, I know that you can't take the monthly payment through PayPal, but for some reason, my card don't want to connect with the, your website, but you still charge me two times for, through my PayPal account when I try to order the try to order December box. I'm without the box, you charge me two times for a box and my card still can't work on the website. Can you please give me my money back that you took through my PayPal? I don't know, I, I will see what the problem is. Maybe I will take another card and try to put my monthly subscri subscription through that card. They never answered me. I still don't have glossy box. I still don't, didn't get my money back that they took from my, through my PayPal. And I don't know really what to do. I called my bank, nothing is wrong with my card. I'm using it every month, every day almost. Nothing is wrong. So I don't know what to do. I'm so mad and disappointed uh, of glossy box because they don't answer me. I understand if the monthly subscription can go through the PayPal. I understand that. But still, if I paid with my PayPal account, I want my December box. I paid for it. I know that you can order one box from their website. So why didn't they send me any box? I'm very disappointed, I'm very mad, and I'm considering to uh, actually quit my Glossybox su subscription. I don't know what's happening. I, like I said in the beginning, I never had this problem with Glossybox. And I'm sad that I don't, I don't actually want to quit the subscription, subscription, but I'm very mad and very disappointed and I don't know really what to do and I don't know how to handle this problem. I don't know how to fix it. Uh, my car doesn't want to connect with the website. There is nothing wrong with the card. My bank said that there is nothing wrong with my card. I have money on the card. They took money from my PayPal account. They are not giving it back to me and I'm still the second month without any box. So. I'm considering to quit the Glossy Box subscription and maybe start a new subscription. I'm very curious to try BoxyCharm, but I can't order it to Sweden, unfortunately. I really want to start my, a new subscription, but I don't know which one. If you have any suggestion, suggestions, please let me know down below and I will check them out. I did start the, I did start the Stitch. I think that is how you pronounce this uh, brand. I did start that subscription and I will do a video when I receive the second box to tell you what I think about them and how much that costs because I'm kind of curious to try new perfumes. But I do really want to do another similar box like a glossy box beauty products and I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just confused. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. This video is very strange. I never did anything like this in my on my channel, but I do really need your help. And please let me know if you had any problems with Glossy Box subscription and how you solved that problem. If you had any similar problem like I have right now, I'm just sad that I missed December and January box because they were beautiful. They were they were amazing boxes. I watched a couple of unboxing videos and I'm very sad and disappointed because December and January are kind of my favorite months with the glossy box and yeah I just I'm going to email them again and hopefully this time they will answer me but uh, yeah I just want to explain why I didn't have any unboxing videos of glossy box on my channel I hope you understand Please let me know down below if you have any subscription box suggestions that you want to tell me or want me to unbox them. Please let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video and I hope you subscribe and support me. I love you all and I see you in my next video. Bye.